This is Witchspace News for Friday the 31st of July 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...VR support is being worked on for Odyssey. There's a patch incoming to address the tricked apocalypse. Frontiers regular livestream schedule is returning and more. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Frontier have confirmed that VR support for the upcoming Odyssey expansion is being worked on. In a statement on the company's regular Elite Dangerous livestream last night they swept aside a lot of the uncertainty that centred around their previous announcement which stated VR would not be available at launch. Unsurprisingly the previous announcement did cause a huge wave of disappointment amongst the headset wearing portion of the Elite Dangerous community and whilst the use of the words at launch does imply that it could possibly be an option further down the line Without a specific statement saying that the feature is definitely being worked on VR players were left to make up their own mind as to what the company was up to. In the statement last night that was reaffirming a comment community manager Arthur Tolmy made on the forums earlier in the week Bruce Garrido stated that Frontier is looking to get VR support into Odyssey but that they wanted to ensure that they get that implementation right. It's nice to have this definite confirmation of what we'd long suspected was probably the case since the original announcement was made. Whilst obviously not an ideal situation for the VR community at least we now know that the plan is to try and get VR support into Odyssey at some point in the future and ensure that it's done right. Carrier patch number 4 was expected to drop into the game on Wednesday this week however during testing of the patch Frontier identified a bug that has pushed the patch's deployment schedule back to Monday the 3rd of August. Downtime for the patch is expected to last about 15 minutes starting at 11am UTC. The patch notes for the incoming update are linked below and they include a number of bug fixes including a further rebalancing of the overlapping mining hotspot issue which it's hoped will eliminate the current galaxy wide supply issues with the carrier Wonderfuel Tritium. That sound you hear is every carrier owner in the galaxy crossing their fingers. In a further announcement on the Thursday livestream last night Stephen Benedetti confirmed that the regular schedule of Frontiers livestreams will be returning. Up until the UK lockdown due to the Covid-19 pandemic the company had been running two livestreams a week one on Monday afternoons UK time and one on Thursdays. When the company shut its doors on its UK headquarters the team started working from home and the schedule of livestreams was interrupted as a result. However with this announcement Stephen has also said that along with the Monday Let's Play sessions they are also returning to their other specific themed Thursday livestream schedule that featured streams such as Stargazing Tours, Featured Commanders and the Full Throttle Racing series. The company is still working from home so they will be wrestling the limitations that obviously brings but it's good to see the regular schedule of spotlight features returning. While we're on the subject of racing we were directed by Alec Turner to a fantastic video put together by Commander Black Maze of one of the recent Elite Racers 8 wheel drive endurance events. The video includes multiple simultaneous on screen camera perspectives and professional style race commentary well worth the look and it is of course linked below do check it out. And finally this week Frontier announced that they are now one of the sponsors of the Centre for UK Computing Museum. The Cambridge based museum is an educational charity that aims to tell the story of the information age exploring the historical, social and cultural impact of developments in personal computing. Amongst its many exhibits is an extensive archive of retro handheld and desktop video game hardware, software and history from what is a very fast paced and constantly evolving industry. We had no idea this amazing asset even existed and when the world returns to a semblance of normality we're definitely adding it to our must visit list. Until then the museum has a great website that has some 360 virtual looks at the rooms and exhibits. Do give it a look.
We've been poring over the images on the site to try and see stuff we actually owned or that our parents refused to pay for in days gone by. If you see anything you recognise in there do let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.